Hey everyone, so I'm new to this whole YouTube thing and I thought I would do a 15 quick facts about me. Um, not included in the facts, my name is Alex, I am 25, I'll be 26 in March of next year. Um, yeah, so, um, fact number one, I am married. I just got married uh, May 4th of this year to my lovely wife. We got married on May 4th, that was, it was my idea. <laughs> trying to get married on the 5th uh, so we could all celebrate like every single mile but it didn't happen so instead I watched I walked down the aisle to the Imperial March because I mean may the 4th be with you number two I do have a son it is actually from a previous relation it wow he <laughs> is actually from a previous relationship he just turned six this month um something in my mouth that's like me asking anyways <laughs> Not gonna lie, I totally have them written down over here. Um, number three, I am a disabled veteran. I joined the Army at 17 after I'd already graduated high school, um, and I was active duty for about four, four and a half years, somewhere in there. I ended up getting out a little earlier, I was planning to serve for five years. Um, my son began having seizures. I don't know that. My son began having seizures and I just kind of thought that he needed me more than my country did at that time, unfortunately. Um, number four, uh, we currently have three and a half cats. Weird, I know. Um, so when I moved in with my wife, she actually already had four cats. Um, and I adopted another cat. When I adopted that cat, one of her cats hated my cat. My cat's name is Austin. He, he just completely hated her and actually moved in with our neighbor. <laughs> That's how we became friends with our neighbor. And then one of our other cats, unfortunately, ran away and we haven't been able to find him. So we just say we have three and a half cats and so does our neighbor. <laughs> so number five, I decided after a year of working in the civilian world to go back to college. So I'm currently a junior at the University of Houston Clear Lake. I should be graduating either in the summer or December of next year and I'm currently getting my degree in environmental science and then I'm getting a minor in geology. Not gonna lie, I just really like rocks, they're pretty interesting, but number six, my dream job would be to work with Texas Parks and Wildlife. I'm such a nerd, I know. Um, <laughs> I want to go in and help preserve and save the wetlands around this area since we have a lot of natural disasters and humans it it's screwed up the entire ecosystem and I want to go in and help um, number seven I've actually already graduated from college but I am the first person in my entire family to have ever graduated from college so when I graduate again it'll be my second time and hopefully I can go and get my master's degree and make it a third time I guess yeah Something like that. Um, number eight. I love to run. I'm fat. You probably can tell by the roundness of my face. I'm fat. I love food so much. But uh, sometime last year, been probably a year and a half now, I woke up one day and was like, I'm going to run a half marathon. Probably one of the dumbest choices I've ever made in my life. But started training. When I started training, I probably was running like a quarter of a lap. So a quarter of a quarter of a mile. And I would stop and I'd be out of breath and I was so overweight and out of shape and that was about two or three years after I'd gotten out of the military. So I just let myself go and ever since then I've been running. Still not good at it, still have to stop every like two, three miles, but hey, it's better than being on the couch. Mm -hmm. Number nine? 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 Yeah, number nine. The first time I'd ever seen snow was when I was... I had first gotten off the plane in Alaska. I was not prepared for it at all. Um, I'm not the brightest fish in the barrel, unfortunately. So I was here in Texas with my family. Um, and it was October-ish. So it's warm in October. Like I'm in I'm in a t-shirt right now and shorts and it's kinda hot today. It's in like the high eighties, so I didn't even think about that when boarding the plane to go to Alaska and I was in shorts and a t-shirt and it was about 22 degrees and there's like three feet of snow on the ground and I didn't I was not prepared I was not okay <laughs> and to this day I don't like the cold weather at all as soon as I could get stationed back down here in Texas I did and I'm still never gonna leave again that was it was bad yeah 
So, number 10. Um, before I die, one place I really want to go to is Egypt. I've always loved the ancient Egyptian world. I don't know why. I fell in love with it as a kid and I've still wanted to go. But I think our next vacation is going to be to Greece because my wife owes me that. Yeah. Instead of going to Greece a few years ago, we went to Disney World. Which, don't get me wrong, Disney World was great and all, but uh, I need to go to Greece too. Number 11. I love makeup and if you stick around or subscribe or whatever, you will find that most of my channel is going to be makeup related and skincare reviews and all of that. Um, it's something I actually got into about a year, year and a half ago and I don't know, I just, I was never very feminine and girly before this, but now I am. It still concerns everyone in my family, which I find hilarious, but whatever. Number 13. 12? 13? 12. Sorry, my bad. Number 12. I am the worst morning person you will ever meet. Uh, I don't drink coffee or anything though, so unfortunately it doesn't even help. Yeah, I just, I could stay up for like three days straight, no problem. I'd be a little tired, a little groggy, but I could do it. Waking up, however, no, I'm, I'm not good at it. So yeah, it was, it was bad when I was active duty. It, didn't go so well but I, I managed I still sort of manage my son's only ever been late once and that was my wife's fault so <laughs> 13 I have a lot of tattoos so this one has been a work in progress and then I've got one here one here my chest is done my ribs are done my foot is done I have my leg done I have my back done I have one behind my ear I don't even count anymore but yeah and I also have I no longer have a lot of piercings I have my tongue I've got that twice. I had my septum, my nose. I had dermals. You can see the scar here and over here. I took them out actually, well, this one I ripped out of my sleep one night and this one I had my neighbor cut out before my wedding so I'd be even because I wore a strapless dress. So yeah. Um, number 14, this is my favorite story. No one ever taught me how to drive growing up. Um, my older sister was taught and apparently she was so bad, it concerned my parents so much that they just didn't teach me, which was super nice of them. So when I got stationed in Alaska, I needed a driver's license. So I borrowed one of my friend's cars and I kind of sort of taught myself. Um, I failed my driving test twice before I finally passed it. So that was nice. <laughs> My wife still hates, hates, hates my driving. It apparently scares her. Um, so yeah, she drives everywhere and I don't mind. But she is gonna, my next vehicle, she's, she's adamant that I get like the lane assist that keeps you in your lane. I don't really care. And last but not least, my favorite, the height difference between my wife and I. I am four foot 11 when I stretch. I might get like four foot and eleven and a half. She's six foot and she slouches a lot. I didn't even realize that she was that tall. We've been talking, so we met online. We've been talking for a while, and then she was sending me pictures of like the house, and she sent me one of like the kitchen, and I could see like like this is the top of the fridge, and I was seeing like this. I was just, how tall are you? <laughs> so, but it's nice now. She reaches the top shelf, and I don't even have to worry about it. But. I gotta get the stuff on the bottom, which I'm fine with, so. But yeah, that's uh, 15 things about me. And if y'all will stick around and whatnot, maybe you can learn some more. <laughs> Bye.